it's Uncle Michael to you. Well, you, I'm really cousins or something like that, but not really important. So this video is made for Kimber, Brady, and Levi. I am going to read, oh wait, what? Oh, this is Gary. Gary the Hammerhead Shark. I know, isn't he awesome? Hey, Gary. So Gary and I are going to read Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. This is gonna be fantastic. I just wanted to read this story for you because it's really good and I hope you can see it. I'm gonna just do this camera test and then check in just a second. All right, here we are with Gary the Hammerhead Shark and Uncle Michael and I'm reading Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. Here he is, that's Jim, he's a little grumpy. It's just the way he is. All right, page one. So we have uh, what appears to be a little lizard and a banana. One lizard, one banana. Uh, okay, Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lane. One wonderful day, Jim Panzee woke to discover Nothing was right. There he is, that's Jim. See him hanging there? The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Is that possible? I don't know. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. Norman's a big silverback gorilla. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Marabou's this tall, tiny bird. See him here, too? What are you grumpy? Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrow, just like that. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. See Jim's silly smile? It's crazy. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. <laughs> zebras? Zebras. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet, just like the big elephant here. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance, said the little porcupine. But Jim didn't feel like any of that. 
Why are you so grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off with poor Jim walking away. Jim felt sorry. A little so sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am, Grumpy Jim said. Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I dance with porcupines, said Norman. Look at how many porcupine quill quills. Count them for me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman, and Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. That's the story about Jim, Grumpy Monkey. I hope you liked it. You, me, and Gary here might find another book somewhere in the library or at the house uh, that Uncle Michael could come read for you. So if you have suggestions, maybe you can tell me. I'll try to see if I can find it online or order a book. Who knows? All right. I hope you have a wonderful day, whether you're grumpy or whether you're not. Just have an amazing day.